Navi versus Bait is definitely a classic storyline, right? Dendi involved in up against Navi. Good support. Ancient Apparition is all right. He's not your Lich, but they do have kill potential. Speaking of the Lich, not feeling too good about his pick now as he gets caught out and first blood gets drawn by BA. The way he itemizes, he can uh, prove to be a fearsome foe versus the Naga. If you go for that Crimson Guard, you can pressure the towers as well. Speaking of Naga, this is a gorgeous kill if you can get it. Nice oh. dodge on the Laguna though, and he'll try and move away, but it's a greedy Naga. You don't take Song at six, and as a result, you get to spend 30 seconds on that sideline. The only difference is he could actually play the game and he got into a good team. <laughs> I thought you meant back then he could play the game. I was like, Jesus, let's, let's calm down here. No, it, yeah, he's he's definitely been around. He brings a lot of experience and still playing in that full role. No, he's been proven dominant. Back but. then I was flaming him. You're not going to make it. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> you know, he, you, he makes one mistake. You just flame him forever. No. You just have to have like a friendly rivalry. Just you know that you got somewhere where you didn't. And Pio, then place he's getting his back to base quickly as he's dead for 30 seconds. Nice rotation. Right. Now, this is... Um, a little bit concerning because now effectively what they did not only did they lose their carry but they uh, forced their offlaner the strongest hero on the map to play around this tier one yes you will be saving this tier one but you won't be taking any objectives however if they rotate the lena in as well maybe they can do something well, right now it's just gustic versus the world ice blast gonna come in arena has been committed it will cause a travesty and deforestation and po is arriving it's a retreat passion needs to get out quickly dendy slowed down by slayer on the side he's gonna give his life for the cause the problem is they've already lost the lich so lose the rubik as well unlock it pop the pipe and he will wait even if his teammates are dying he's like no <laughs> no i need to do the combo <laughs> properly to look good yeah dendy he's gonna do his combo properly but there's the arena going down they're looking at dendy they don't have the damage though pasha he needs to run. There is no way you can run, no way you can hide. Reinforce will come in. The chain frost bouncing around unfavorably for the side of bait, but there's the terrorizer scan away. It gives space. Dendi, even though he's netted up, there's no one to pursue. They scare away the Naga because he's hit up by the curse crown. And Magical needs to try and just beeline to the, the tree line and stay safe. But Ghostic, he sees an opportunity. He's like, you cocky son of a gun. The Stomp actually unintentionally connecting on the Crystallize. Now he wants to go for the double, like, little stun. Eh. Combo, Combo the, phrases, yeah, yeah phrases. but he doesn't manage to do so. You don't want to skill it, you know. And then you get the level 10, and you're like, do I do I get the talent, or do I skill my ulti? <laughs> Speaking of all, he's, he's getting the kills now. One of the best combos with uh, this Mars. Oh, let's see, Stampede. Well, anything you want now that Mars doesn't have his combo. The Stampede comes in, Magical is controlled up. They're going to protect the time being. Pio is locked in on the side. He will dodge out the Requiem and kill off Elias, though. Magical now needs to run for the high hills, but Pio's going to keep on chasing. The Shadow Realm not enough for the stab in Pio. He won't even give his life for this. The movement in Slayer, Slayer. is greedy. He wanted it with a blink strike, but it wasn't good enough. There will be a cleanup coming up from Mars, but now Pasha will give his life just for that measly kill on a Ricky. Yeah. Four for the price of one. Remember, Naga. <laughs> that, Farming. That's what matters. Farming. <laughs> that's the play. <laughs> you have Naga on the other side of the map still farming. That's something at least. You sacrifice your teammates for that very reason, right? It's like, I'm throwing you on the bus because I'll have a 4k network. The same things like Anti-Mage. Now the Stampede coming in, Alias. Gonna be left behind. Just tanking the gang. Exactly. The terrorizer has been charged up. But Chris Lice is gonna commit here. Has to song and run away. But they need to be careful. With TP right there. He doesn't want to risk the terrorizer. Meanwhile, the mid lane, LeBron. Trying to bravely defend that tier one tower. We'll go down. The ice blast is simply for farming a neutral camp. Damn, magical. Mm, he has magical damage. The arena is going to go down. That's a please don't hurt me. Leave me alone. Stay here, arena. Mm, let's see Pasha here. He's very deep, but has no he support has whatsoever. So he's fine. Ilias, however, the support has no support. <laughs> No, no, no. This Naga is getting a lot of farm on top of the network charts and with that Skadi. And Stampede in. I'm just going to shrug. What's, what's to say? Slayer's dying. Have you had a look at Bot recently? Because Navi are doing things. The TPs are coming in now, but you're outnumbered. They're going to jump on them straight away. They see Dendi, they go in. They were waiting. They did not reveal Pasha the entire while. He just thought he was coming to stop a ratting Naga. Instead, they lose Lina for 80 seconds. Yeah, that BKB also doesn't help. And this should be a tier 3. Let's see. Yeah, with the illusions. They can definitely take it. Yeah. Illusion heroes don't look at towers. They just let the illusion Wait, do it. Wait, do they go for Rax? Of course here? they do. Like, they, you don't have Stampede. You've just used Ice Blast. What? Are you really that scared? I mean... There is Ricky still around. Yeah, the line's been drawn. They, they know that someone's coming in behind them. It's the Centaur. 
They might want to get out now. The arena goes down. Pasha, that's the runaway. Get the hell out of Dodge. They aren't really getting the uh, hell out. That's not how you get out. That's how you go in. They have the song, though. Yeah. So they will get out. All right, that's the play. Well, the only one they're doing a good job of this right, with right now is the mid. And when I say good, I mean it's a draw. It's meeting in the river. Crystallize. Oh, moving in. Crystallize. Feeling pretty tanky. Has the BKB to work with, so isn't too scared right now. Terrorize is going to come through, though. He didn't use the BKB. The arena's going to go down. Just trying to cover their escape. Might do good enough. Pasha does get stunned up though, and the song's gonna come up, but Pio has that BKB. They might just try and right-click into him. He has got the smoke screen down to protect himself, and Pasha holds his ground. Shield, forward, move away. Jump in. BKB, Ghost Stick goes in, connect on the Crystallize, not the target though. Pio's gonna be brought down dead for 70 seconds. Magical to scare them away, and Ghost Stick, nowhere to run. The Chain Frost bouncers are not favoring him. Too many balls slapping into his face there. Now the Chase Forward and the King R, who will go for the TP away, will be successful. This Take time, yeah. not on point that time. But as you said again, you don't feel like you need it because your Ricky has all this mobility. He should be able to escape, in theory, with his own BKB. Yeah, even just fighting his BKB is hard as they lack the damage right now. LeBron. Nice chance of being a little bit annoying. Don't worry, he has 9k MMR. He's fine. Mm -hmm. This was all calculated. Jinx. He, uh, he pulled out the calculator, he mashed his head into it, and this was the answer to winning. Magical. Ooh. Oh, hold on a second. That revealed a little bit of something. Pio does get hexed up. Stampede to get him away, though. Denny Light Striker Ray, it will be a whiff. And Crystallize, he could just use a song here to set up. Has the BKB. Terrorize won't affect him. Magical sidesteps are perfectly. And now the jump in. Arena goes down. Dendi is the target. Pinned against these walls and lifted for so long. He should be going down here. In the meantime, King R's also going to die. Stun on the side. Passion moved away so he doesn't connect with his teammates. And the Aegis has been taken away from them. Pio, he's melting due to this minus armor. The BKB still running at the moment. Hunting on the magical. And Denny's been left behind by his teammates. BKB to try and reconvene with them. And the turnaround. The Hex is going to come out. The control is good on the Pio. Going to get him low. But blink away in time by Shadow Fiend means they can't find him. And Dendi. Oh no, he had this experience before he went down once. Crystallize here again. Everyone is trying to ignore Naga, but you can't ignore her when she obliterates you this fast. And King R, and this was his buyback, and he's gonna probably go down again. They haven't got the mana to protect him, the smoke screen to try and help, the roots, who cares? Crystallize will stand there. Nice spear back, pinned against the wall. Ghostic being melted down, even with no mana, he feels the might of the Naga. Will be felt. 75 seconds on the sideline. Arena just for the kill on the Willow. Block that Pixie's wings. As she'll go down dead for 90 seconds, and they can reconvene in the mid lane for a push if they want, because Crystallize is still alive and healthy. Yeah, that's a big win for Navi, obviously. And this team fight lasted for two oh, minutes. God. Yeah, that's what we always like to see, is that kind of synergy you can have. And in the mid lane, Ghost Egg, no mana to walk with again. The one tree. They'll find it, but nice terrorize to scare away the primary target. The arena's gonna go down though. They want this kill and they'll be able to find it. This ghost stick, he gives up. He knows he's dead. No buyback. No way back in this 100 seconds. Yules, time to bomb bomb out here. PO can't get away quick enough as he gets caught in the requiem and killed off. You're without two for a long time. Ricky does have buyback. And you can bet your ass off Navi are gonna force it. Yeah, he will have to use it here. I don't think you can defend with just the Lina. Especially with the Yule setup. Let's see. There it is. But She's still going to be stunned up. She might just die before the Curse Crown goes off. It's just too much damage. Dendi cannot do anything here. He's dead for two minutes. No way back into this. It was just the illusions as well that took him down. Yeah. It's just like, it's it's one of those moments where Crystal is probably just not even looking at his illusion anymore. It's like, I just attack click, buddy. You're done. Yeah. They just DC away. I didn't see a GG called or not. It's difficult for these heroes to become that one punch man when you have an SF and a Bristleback. They're more more like those that are slowly going to wear you down. You have the Bristle, you have the Dazzle, you have the SF, and that's po probably their win condition. However, you are playing into a Necro who can sustain himself quite well throughout the game if he gets a decent laning stage, and that's where the game will be made or broken down for Navi. Right now, they're not really having the best time. No, I'd say top lane is, is, you know, the pressure is on the Chen in that situation. The pressure is on in the mid. It's magical. He's like, okay, I have no choice but to fight you. But there's the raise. Dendi, he's calibrated his fingers now. And he'll get the easy kill. At least in the top lane, we'll be casually ran down. We'll lose his little baby creep. He might lose his life as well here. Yep. A little re-meet in heaven. Yeah, you can see that their lane stage is not great. Meanwhile, a little bit of D1 going on. They're trying to rotate onto Magical. They've got multiple heroes here. They'll be able to slow him down. They're holding that cookie. He's got that scythe, but no one to use it on. So look at the kill. LeBron cheekily steals it. Mm, so far, Slayer hasn't really managed to make his impact in the game. Oh. Oh. That's big. 
And you know, even when we look at the, the Void Spirit and how well he's done and how well Pash is doing, you look at this Ember that started to get bullied on that lane. He's not doing that bad net worth wise. He's still finding gold. And that's the crucial part is they have their free cores at the right point. They should be able to start to spiral around that 10, 15 minute mark. But Magical is trying to slow that down now. <laughs> nah, these two supports <laughs> from bait. He's like, fine, hit me. I want you to hit me. And King Ha, cheeky attempt to snipe out the Coria. Won't work, but TP away. It won't work either as Pasha moves across. Well, look on the bright side. They did manage to force four heroes from the side of Navi there. Meanwhile, Dandy almost took down the complete tier one tower on the mid lane. Ember Spirit also got some space away from the pesky void, taking this advantage of this snowball-y type of a lineup. Chen hasn't be really been online at all. You haven't been able to take a single tier one so far. You need to kill Ghostic. That's that's pretty much. He tried for it. They'll get the stun. He's under tower though. TPs are coming in and Dazzle's there. He's always waiting. King R perfectly understands what they're trying to do in this game. And all they're going to do now is die on the side of Navi. Ghostic will not even die off. Pasha also falls. Mm. And I like the way that Navi ad are adapting their fights now. They are understanding that it's all about these protracted engagements where you just send, send this Lark in. He always has a way out. Void Spirit as well, but you need to be careful of your Necro's positioning. Some oh. highlight, and they're definitely doing it well. They want to contest. We're going to kill him off quickly, but he's so goddamn tanky. He'll make it out again. Stun from Slayer looks good, but he's not that tanky. Spike Carapace means they can't hit into him, however. The reset will favor the side of Fate. His magical's a little bit too far forward. Control is out, but the Remnant barely One stun. him. Dendi stunned up. Shallow Grave to save the day. He doesn't have that Requiem, of course, it's already been used. They used the fight a little bit more time so they can kill him off at the end. It hurts a lot, but not enough for them to care. They will slay him. They find bigger targets. That's the die back on King Arp. He will throw back a Remnant to be safe. And Ghostic is still alive through all of this. They no longer have that Scythe to work with, so they have to try and will him down. But the Quills are stacking up. They're going to keep hunting this. Ghostic, he's playing with fire here. And sometimes you get burned. He might, in fact, just about live because it looks like Pasha has to retreat. On the other side of the fight, however, they will be able to get Ember out in time. And it looks like Na'Vi are going to back up here. They're all getting low. And when you turn this into a slower engagement or range, that's where Bait has the advantage. You can't abandon him. You have to be going further in than him, especially if he's already used the Shroud. And as you said, that's he'll be done the choke points. Slayer, stun on the two. They'll hit up the chains. They're moving in right now. A lot of damage being dished out here. Dendi sight and blown up. He's gone. LeBron will join him in the grave. Slayer might give his life, but Ghost needs to be careful being in this area because he's taking a lot of damage. They're going to surround him. Who cares about Quill? Who cares about stacking damage when you can just control him and kill him and say thank you for setting up right? I mean, I don't know if Bait is a little bit reckless or if Navi's Ilias, this position five player, is just a god of this chen. As he multiple times in a row succeeds as these double triple stuns with his centaurs. So they're still they are respecting what this bristle can bring to these fights and are still worried. Pasha goes in deep, King R is controlled up. Perfect pickoff as well, because that's the save from Bait, which means they have to run. Whiff on the stun round from Slayer. Spike Carapace does stun up Ghostic though. He's charged up the Meteor Hammer, which is gonna force him to stay close, but not close enough that they can actually catch. As they're a little bit too slow. They will just back away. It looks like the tier one tower will be taken by Na'Vi, but they can't pursue for more right now. Crystallize. Over. The turnaround opportunity. They go in on the Crystallize. Hannah got to heal him up. BKB charges straight and goes to be trolled up and brought down quickly. The side thrown out and he's dead for 75. They force the fire back out of the Dazzle, but not in time for him to actually save anyone. He might be able to save Pio, who's going to need some serious assistance. But the Yules, they interrupt him. They're going to get a second kill. The Kisses from the tree line. LeBron knows they have no spike carapace. He will at least find vengeance with the magical. That was a forced buyback from the Dazzle but they did manage to take down Necro at least. Let's see if Navi will stay around, perhaps try to get this tier two or fall back. They don't really have a lot of burst damage and they're pouncing a Slark. It was a nice idea, but he just got healed so easily. Yeah, yeah, it was a ridiculous amount of sustain that comes out from Navi. Now stuns out on a Dendi, in trouble, held in place, getting low, but King R is nearby. They actually need to snipe out this Dazzle. Time and time again, he's the fact that they have to worry about. Nice catch. They cookie through into the Remnant, which controls him up. Shallow Grave's going to come out. King R is now dead. And the use control means that Shadow Fiend is not getting out of here in anything but a coffin. Also remember, Dazzle died. He has no buyback any longer. And that leaves a Navi pretty much free to do whatever they want. They aren't really co coherently having a plan. They aren't converging at the same spot. They aren't getting all their heroes to fight. They're just beating one at a time. And because of that, they might even lose the Raxes. What looked like just a couple of pickoffs is going to turn into a full side, it seems. It's Maybe not just that. Game. Pio, he's going to be going down. Siphon the face, dead for 90 seconds. He'll have to fight back. It might not be game just yet, but this goal lead is going to snowball out of control quickly. They're going to back away. Not, they don't want to force yeah, the buyback. He's not going to buy back. I think they want to try and force a buyback and then use it. Yeah, probably use it on someone that doesn't have a buyback as well, which then is an option. Ooh. 
They want to move away. Pio, however, in a lot of trouble. He needs to retreat very quickly, not towards them. No, that's not the right remnant. And they'll chase for more. LeBron's also going to fall. Dendi chased on two as well. He has to activate the BKB, but they won't stop right-clicking him. <laughs> they saved the mangoes. <laughs> Save the mangoes. Wait, did he just buy a quelling blade or something? To Can you leave tangos? the trees alone, yeah. okay? People need to make more toilet paper. <laughs> he, he bought a tango to eat their mango tree in front of their <laughs> fountain. Oh, oh, Slayer jumps in on a three. Meteor Hammer follow-up connects on the two. Pio hit on two. He's just going to burn down the face of the damage. Three dead on bait, and they're going to lose more. It looks like it might be a team wipe at this rate. Gostic chased into his fountain, crystallized once more. Dendi still trying to hold off against this, but it looks like he will also die, as this should be the game. Yeah, there you go. They're just clear, cleaning yeah. them up next to their phone. They're, they're all done. They're like, let's go in. Go, go set the boys. We still want to play. LeBron just looking for someone to smooch with. But yeah. it's over. GG gets called 2-0. And well, while most of us have been washing our hands, Na'Vi, they make a statement. We've washed our hands of Dendi for good. We don't need him. Oh, the, ouch, man. The, that hurts. <laughs>